welcome to Thalir. This is a place called Bud. This is budding forth for a new life. And we are Capuchins working for the renewal of the society and the church. Dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, welcome to Thalir Capuchin Online Ministries. This is Thalir Lenten Online Messages titled 40 Days, 40 Graces. This is offered by Brother Dilip Kumar, a Capuchin friar. He continues with the biblical tradition of 40 days spent by Moses on Mount Sinai and Jesus in the desert. Similarly, these 40 days and 40 graces with rich scriptural reflections calls for a transformation. Brother Dilip Kumar is presently at the Friary category in the formation of the major seminarians. He conducts retreats, gives motivational talks and sessions on counseling and psychology. Here comes Brother Dilip Kumar. 4th March, Thursday, Grace 16, Upliftment, the best vision of God. Dear friends in Christ Jesus, I say it is something which enhances us to see the beauty around us as well as the suffering around us. Here Jesus speaks another eyesight which all of us need to have, that is the spiritual eyesight. Jesus says, He who has eyes, let him see God at work in the world. Sometimes our vision gets distorted with the trash, dust or fog and we can't see what around us. That's when we need to clean our glasses and notice the needs of others. I read a story along these lines that fascinated me. There was a man in the 19th century who held three doctoral degrees, the first in medicine, the second in theology and the third in philosophy. People also recognized him as one of the best organists in Europe and held a prestigious professorship in Vienna, Austria. Something persuaded him to give up the culture, amenities and comforts of a sophisticated life and go to Africa to build hospitals and preach the gospel of mercy. The man was Albert Swetcher. What convinced him to go to Africa? This parable of Richman and Lazarus. He changed his life and focused his eyes on the needs of a continent, not European amenities. When he thought about the message behind the rich man and Lazarus, he realized that Africa was the beggar at the gate of Europe. The results were that millions received medical care and their eyes opened to the compassion of Christ. When we change our vision, our vision changes our lives. My sermon today is around the idea that we need to clean our glasses and do it often. This parable is a reminder not to love our possessions more than our neighbors. But I don't think this parable is about money. Money is often a metaphor Jesus used for things that control us. I think it is about how two lives can exist at once, the natural life and the spiritual life. And they often looked very different. The rich man is a wealthy capitalist who never seek to bridge the economic gulf between self and laborer because he feels that it is natural for someone to live in inordinate luxury while others live in abject poverty. But Jesus says we should open our eyes to Lazarus. When we find Jesus in the gospel, he is usually telling stories that encourage people to love God, love their sisters and brothers, help the poor, befriend the outcast, and never ever permit self-righteous religious people to tell you you are not good enough for God. We need clear vision to see the world around us. But we also need clear vision to see how much God cares for us, loves us, and invites us to become people transformed through that love. Upliftment, the best vision of God, is the grace that we have for today. God sees everyone as equals. That is the vision of God. He wants us to shift 
our vision to uplift and care for people like Lazarus and create a society where there is equality. Action of the day today, let's try to feel the needy person. Remember that when you leave this earth, you can take with you nothing that you have received, only what you have given, a full heart, enriched by honor service, love, sacrifice and courage, says St. Francis of Assisi. Have a graceful day, dear friends.